Now that we know the basics about assignment, let's learn more about some special features in vZoom. The first relates to assignment and how demand accesses the network. Let's learn the basics about these tools called Multipoint Assignment, or MPA for short. Extra zonal trips begin at one zone and end at another. The endpoints of these trips can be at the zone centroid, although vZoom allows you the option of nodes at the end of a zone connector to act as zone centroids. This is a method of disaggregating the zone structure into more discrete parts. The advantage is more realistic traffic assignment where there is a good understanding of the ingress and egress demand. To establish MPA for the entire system, go to Calculate and select Procedures. Next, left-click on the Functions tab and highlight PRT functions. In the drop-down, you may choose each origin destination pair, which turns on multipoint assignment, or total trips that turns off the MPA feature. You may also set multipoint assignment for individual zones, even if the MPA feature default setting is off. To do this, select the Edit Mode in the Network view. Choose the Zone object and left-click a zone to edit. When the Edit dialog opens, select the Connectors tab and in the drop-down, select the method for connector shares. Notice you also have the choice to allow connectors to carry a specific weight of demand of ingress and egress for a zone. You have the option to do this for private and public transport systems. Here, we will set the private transport system to shares and the public to absolute. Note the window that reminds us to check our zone connector shares because of our coding change. We'll turn on the graphics for the zone connector object and inspect the connectors for the zone we edited. Notice the share PRT is editable and the share PUT is light gray and not editable. When absolute is selected, then we may not assign shares to a connector. For the PRT system, we can apply the share and see the percentage to the right of the demand allocated to the individual connector. Shares are applied in both directions and values do not have to be the same. When the MPA is on, then the connector share represents the portion of demand from the zone that will be disaggregated to the node at the endpoint of the centroid. Simulating intersection delay is an important component of many model implementations. Let's learn about special delay links. vZoom allows us to establish the approaches to an intersection that are assigned delay. This is important at two-way stop controlled and yield intersections as the minor movement must wait for traffic to clear in order to proceed. To set a special delay link, use the edit mode and select the node object. We edit the node we want to modify, which opens the Junction Editor. In the Junction Editor, we select the Link object and set the T-Model Special Attribute to a value of 1. A value of 0 means the feature is turned off. If you don't know which link to turn on, you can highlight the Link column in the Junction Editor or left-click on the checkbox for the link, which will highlight the attributes for that approach or departure link. If you have more than one link coded as a special delay link, the intersection delay will be shared equally to each of these approaches.